interestingly, so if we start back a couple of years ago in relation to Indigo, um, what I've noticed over the past couple of years when we all sort of were not allowed to go anywhere um, and I started linking with people via platforms like this and talking about um, the pandemic and I started asking people, well, if there were a colour which best described uh, the pandemic, what colour would it be? And surprisingly, uh, people suddenly started to know what colour indigo was. Indigo could best be described as in variations of this little square here. Um, and all of a sudden, because usually when you talk about indigo, people say, what colour is that? Is it blue? Is it purple? And it's that mix sort of in between. It's uh, very much a colour in its own right. But all of a sudden, everyone seemed to know um, what colour indigo was because they, if they had to give a colour to it, they said, well, it's that kind of bluey black colour. And I would show that show them a picture of indigo and they go that's exactly it that's the one so i described the pandemic as indigo as the color of a pandemic and then and looking at its aspects of deep um potential of deep transformation and then also i also work with a system where we use um, Pythagoras's formula of using numbers uh, numbers to colors and so that each year then has its own color as well so like 2021 is 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 5 this year is 2 plus 2 plus 2 which is 6 and each of those numbers then relates to a specific color so like 5 is blue and 6 is indigo so 2022 is an indigo year and we'll talk about and i'll talk about kind of indigo and how what that all means in just a second um indigo let's start with indigo as a color in its own right um i remember many years ago going to a, a, a festival uh, and seeing someone working with color and they didn't have indigo and I was saying, well, why haven't you got indigo? And they went, well, no, it's just not. It's just the six colours. And indeed, if you look at most people's drawings of rainbows, um, there's only six colours. Indigo always seems to be the missing colour. And yet, to me, it's probably one of the most important colours. They're all important, but indigo has a a real depth and weight to it which allows us to bridge gaps between this world and other worlds but anyway indigo if you know about the chakra system it relates to here kind of to the third eye and also with indigo it is the kind of the one it's if you look at its history there's the indigo plant and the indigo plant is very much um it was used as ways of connecting with people 